going back to, you didn't like my answer of how God did it. God was just, uh, God is outside of time, space, matter. I think you need to stop and look at the theory that you uh, are believing in, apparently, because there are so many thousands of unanswered questions. See, it's much easier for me to believe in the beginning God than to believe, believe in the beginning dirt or matter. The evolutionist does not answer the question. There are six different types of evolution, as I shared clearly earlier. Um, if the Big Bang Theory is true, then I would like to know what exploded and where did it come from and where did the energy come from and where did the space come from for the matter to expand into and where did the organization come from and where did the information come from? There's a whole host of questions that are a whole lot harder for you to answer than in the beginning God. Where is it, where's information come from? Man, is this universe is not just random molecules circulating around. I mean, it, it, it carries information. So the evolutionist never answers the question, where did this information come from? Where did the energy come from? Where did the matter itself come from? And you gripe about my belief. I, I believe by faith in the beginning God. I know, I, I admit I don't understand that. But you believe hundreds of things by faith. You don't even understand that you're believing by faith. You think matter is either eternal or can create itself. Well, that's the two choices. How did matter get here? The world is here. How, where did the matter come from? Did it just happen by itself? Or is it all just imaginary? We're not really here at all. You're faced with the option of, we're not really here. This is all just our imagination. Or, it had a beginning. Or, matter is eternal, which is in both, both of the second two options are in violation of the obvious laws of thermodynamics. Matter doesn't create itself. And everything degrades over time, so either it had a beginning or it didn't. If it had a beginning, then what was before the beginning? I mean, there are so many thousands of things you take by faith. You say, I say in the beginning, God, and you say, well, this matter somehow either was always here or created itself, and then this matter somehow became alive, and then this first living thing learned how to reproduce, and then it learned how to make something other than its kind. I mean, even though nobody's ever seen that, nobody's ever seen a dog produce a non-dog. Or you mentioned about, you know, the dog fact that a wolf and a, a fox and a dog coming from a common ancestor and off Noah's Ark in only 4,400 years. For heaven's sake, you believe they came from a rock? I mean, come on. I don't think my theory is that silly at all. So. Uh, if my answer to your question is still the same, I believe in the beginning God, I do take that by faith. Here's the major difference, major difference that I don't think you're going to understand. I admit mine is a religion. They do not admit theirs is a religion. They want you to think what they believe is science and all of you should pay for their religion to be taught in this university.